We're here at South Valley Regional Airport in Salt Lake City for the annual convention and trade show of the American Bonanza Society, and we have a news flash. Believe it or not, not all the cool gadgets have already been invented. We're here with Lynn Caston, who is the owner of Redline Aviation LLC in Rancho Santa Fe, California. And Lynn, you have come up with something here that is at, at the same time simple and remarkable. Tell us about how you had the inspiration for the power driver. From spending a lot of time in Mexico, where you have to move your airplane around a lot by yourself, I had always played with the idea of coming up with something that was truly portable. But in these light aircraft, truly portable means it has to be small, light, but it still has to be powerful enough to move airplanes over a variety of surfaces from dirt to hard asphalt as we see here. I have a lot of other products for aviation, but I had played with this design for a long time, and everything I came up with became too cumbersome and complicated and expensive and heavy. Until I saw this unit, which is a top-of-the-line Milwaukee 28-volt lithium-ion powered right-angle drill. Some of the things that you need in a device like this are very speed, good battery power, light weight, speed reduction. We have to change the direction of the drive at least 90 degrees. And those things ended up in a pretty big package before I saw this. When I saw this, it solved about eight out of my 10 problems and I adapted it to the rest of it and came up with a way to pressurize the roller into the tire without exerting any physical strength. But three months later, this is what happened. All right, now explain simply how this works. You've got obviously some reduction gearing within the drill motor itself, but then you've also got uh, a two-stage chain reduction drive. Yes, we do. It comes from about 700 RPM at the drill. It comes out of the right angle drive with a 33% reduction onto a sprocket that's a 12, happens to be a 12 tooth, onto a 24 tooth, which cuts it in half, to another 12, onto another 24 tooth, which cuts it in half, to a two and a half inch roller, to a 13 inch tire which gives us 40 RPM, which is a comfortable walking distance. You really wouldn't want to move your airplane any faster than that. All right, now, uh, aside from putting chiropractors out of business, there have to be a lot of people happy about this. What about owners of other airplanes? I mean, I think of all the, uh, what well, there are 180 Cessna, 180,000 Cessnas have been manufactured since time began. What about those guys? We cover a lot of those. Some of them we don't, and mainly those are the ones with wheel pants on it that cover the nose wheel for aerodynamic purposes. All the other ones we can adapt it to because really it's a very, very simple mechanism. Actually, we just have to change the piece that adapts the unit to the, to the axle and then find a way to stop the rotation because when you pull this trigger, this thing has 1,050 inch pounds of torque and it'll want to rotate around that tire and it'll be hard to hold it. So we come up with some way to freeze that, keep it in one place, on the Beechcraft, for instance, we use it with this arm that you saw me attach there. Those two things are all we need. Somewhere to attach it so that it'll withstand the pressure of the over-center mechanism, and the other one that'll, uh, that'll keep it from rotating around the tire, and we're done. A couple of final questions. Manufacturer suggested retail price, uh, availability, and the website. Okay, thank you very much. The website is redlineaviation.com. The prices are from $1,600 to around $1,800 depending on the, the model because some of them need an extension. For instance, the, the turboprops that have a long nose like the Piper Meridian, we have a 30 inch extension. So it's, you're standing way out here when you operate it. But the majority of them are around $1,600 and that includes everything. Okay, that includes the drill and the charger, which takes how long? From flat to fully charged is 45 minutes. Well, Lynn, I think you've got uh, something that ought to engender some phone calls, and we appreciate you showing us the finer points of it. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.